I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. We communicate now. Question 18.1 Questioner, I was thinking last night that if I were in the place of Ra right now, the first distortion of the law of one might cause me to mix some erroneous data with the true information that I was transmitting to this group. Do you do this? Answer, I am Ra. We do not intentionally do this. However, there will be confusion. The errors which have occurred have occurred due to the occasional variation in the vibrational complex of this instrument due to its ingestion of a chemical substance. It is not our intent in this particular project to create erroneous information but to express in the confining ambience of your language system the feeling of the infinite mystery of the one creation in its infinite and intelligent unity. Question 18.2 Questioner, can you tell me what the chemical substance is that, when ingested, causes poor contact? Answer, I am Ra. This is not a clear query. Could you please restate? Question 18.3 Questioner, you just stated that you had some problems with the instrument because of the ingestion of some chemical substance by the instrument. Can you tell me what the chemical substance was? Answer, I am Ra. The substance of which we speak is called Vibration Sound Complex, LSD. It does not give poor contact if it is used in conjunction with the contact. The difficulty of this particular substance is that there is, shall we say, a very dramatic drop-off of the effect of this substance. In each case this instrument began the session with the distortion towards extreme vital energy which this substance produces. However this entity was, during the session, at the point where this substance no longer was in sufficient strength to amplify the entity's abilities to express vital energy. Thus, first the phenomenon of, shall we say, a spotty contact and then, as the instrument relies again upon its own vibrational complexes of vital energy, the vital energy in this case being very low, it became necessary to abruptly cut off communication in order to preserve and nurture the instrument. This particular chemical substance is both helpful and unhelpful in these contacts for the causes given. Question 18.4 Questioner, are there any foods that are helpful or harmful that the instrument might eat? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument has body complex distortion towards ill health in the distortion direction corrected best by ingestion of the foodstuffs of your grains and your vegetables, as you call them. However, this is extremely unimportant when regarded as an aid with equality to other aids such as attitude which this instrument has in abundance. It, however, aids the vital energies of this instrument, with less distortion towards ill health, to ingest foodstuffs in the above manner with the occasional ingestion of what you call your meats, due to the instrument's need to lessen the distortion towards low vital energy. Question 18.5 Questioner, thank you. I have a question here that I will read. Much of the mystic tradition of seeking on earth holds the belief that the individual self must be erased or obliterated and the material world ignored for the individual to reach nirvana, as it is called, or enlightenment. What is the proper role of the individual self and its worldly activities to aid an individual to grow more into the law of one? Answer, I am Ra. The proper role of the entity is in this density to experience all things desired to then analyze, understand, and accept these experiences distilling from them the love light within them. Nothing shall be overcome. That which is not needed falls away. The orientation develops due to analysis of desire. These desires become more and more distorted towards conscious application of love light as the entity furnishes itself with distilled experience. We have found it to be inappropriate in the extreme to encourage the overcoming of any desires, except to suggest the imagination rather than the carrying out in the physical plane, as you call it, of those desires not consonant with the law of one, thus preserving the primal distortion of free will. The reason it is unwise to overcome is that overcoming is an unbalanced action creating difficulties and balancing in the time-space continuum. Overcoming, thus, creates the further environment for holding on to that which apparently has been overcome. All things are acceptable in the proper time for each entity, and in experiencing, in understanding, in accepting, in then sharing with other selves, the appropriate distortion shall be moving away from distortions of one kind to distortions of another which may be more consonant with the law of one. 
It is, shall we say, a shortcut to simply ignore or overcome any desire. It must instead be understood and accepted. This takes patience and experience which can be analyzed with care, with compassion for self and for other self. Question 18.6 Questioner, basically I would say that to infringe upon the free will of another entity would be the basic thing never to do under the law of one. Can you state any other breaking of the law of one than this basic rule? Answer, I am Ra. As one proceeds from the primal distortion of free will, one proceeds to the understanding of the focal points of intelligent energy which have created the intelligences or the ways of a particular mind, body, spirit complex and its environment, both what you would call natural and what you would call man-made. Thus, the distortions to be avoided are those which do not take into consideration the distortions of the focus of energy of love light, or shall we say, the logos of this particular sphere or density. These include the lack of understanding of the needs of the natural environment, the needs of other selves mind, body, spirit complexes. These are many due to the various distortions of man-made complexes in which the intelligence and awareness of entities themselves have chosen a way of using the energies available. Thus, what would be an improper distortion with one entity is proper with another. We can suggest an attempt to become aware of the other self as self and thus do that action which is needed by other self, understanding from the other self's intelligence and awareness. In many cases this does not involve the breaking of the distortion of free will into a distortion or fragmentation called infringement. However, it is a delicate matter to be of service, and compassion, sensitivity, and an ability to empathize are helpful in avoiding the distortions of man-made intelligence and awareness. The area or arena called the societal complex is an arena in which there are no particular needs for care for it is the prerogative on a duty of those in the particular planetary sphere to act according to their free will for the attempted aid of the social complex. Thus, you have two simple directives, awareness of the intelligent energy expressed in nature, awareness of the intelligent energy expressed in self to be shared when it seems appropriate by the entity with the social complex, and you have one infinitely subtle and various set of distortions of which you may be aware, that is, distortions with respect to self and other selves not concerning free will but concerning harmonious relationships and service to others as other selves would most benefit. Question 18.7 Questioner, as an entity in this density grows from childhood, he becomes more aware of his responsibilities. Is there an age below which an entity is not responsible for his actions, or is he responsible from the time of his birth? Answer, I am Ra. An entity incarnating upon the earth plane becomes conscious of self at a varying point in its time-space progress through the continuum. This may have a median, shall we say, of approximately fifteen of your months. Some entities become conscious of self at a period closer to incarnation, some at a period farther from this event. In all cases responsibility becomes retroactive from that point backward in the continuum so that distortions are to be understood by the entity and dissolved as the entity learns. Question 18.8 Questioner, then an entity four years old would be totally responsible for any actions that were against or inharmonious with the law of one. Is this correct? Answer, I am Ra. This is correct. It may be noted that it has been arranged by your social complex structures that the newer entities to incarnation are to be provided with guides of a physical mind, body, spirit complex, thus being able to learn quickly what is consonant with the law of one. Question 18.9 Questioner, who are these guides? Answer, I am Ra. These guides are what you call parents, teachers, and friends. Question 18.10 Questioner, the enter dear Lester Crowley wrote, Do what thou wilt is the whole of the law. He was obviously of some understanding of the law of one. Where is this enter dear now? Answer, I am Ra. This entity is within your inner planes. This entity is in an healing process.